Hi guys, it's Grandma Cheap Cheap. I'm coming to you from my kitchen here in Southern Colorado and I'd just like to share a grocery store haul with you. Um, when you get your weekly circulars in the newspaper or either in your mail, it uh, it really did, is to your advantage if you go through it and see if there's something that you can use. Otherwise, you know, if it's not anything to use, I wouldn't suggest you just go out and stockpile groceries. But uh, I wanted to share with you my um, haul. It's not a weekly haul, but it's something that uh, we can definitely use for the summer. And I'd also like to... Um, show you my latest acquisitions in my hen and rooster uh, collections. As some of you may know, I am an avid collector of hens, roosters, anything chicken, eggs, whatever. And I have them all over my kitchen here. So this is the latest things that I acquired. First of all, it's a block of four. And I hope you can see that. Chicken stamps. They're 1948. Uh, I didn't even know that they had stamps with chickens on them. Oh my goodness, I had it upside down. Now can you see? They're awfully cute. Stamps were three cents. Imagine that in 1948. So um, I'll frame these in a little picture frame and put them somewhere. Um, I think it's just... Um, unusual item that you don't see every day and this and this one I got from Dollar General Dollar General are family dollar I think they're cute and that's a store where it has dollar in the name but it's not like a Dollar Tree or anything like uh, any real dollar store. Everything in there isn't a dollar, so you have to just know that. Okay, I went to Albertsons. We have a chain of stores here, and um, they're not everywhere, and there's not too many in Colorado. So I really have to make a effort to go over there, so I just set out this morning to make my Albertsons haul and this is the flyer that I got in my mail and see the name um, here's the Albertsons logo so if you have one every month or two Albertsons have a fabulous um, sale on meats and on this particular week it's buy one get two free and it's of ribs so um, in the summertime we like to throw a bone on the barbie so here's um, I have my three ribs if I thought we needed more I would have gotten six but buy one, get two free. Come on, guys. You can't beat that. So th they're baby backs, too. So that will be really good. Okay. And um, the next thing, they had some of their spices, a lot of their spices on sale. And one day I'll do a demo or I'll do a video on my spice rack. It's like a bookshelf, actually. But... I was buying the um, the chili from Walmart, chili seasoning from Walmart, but I don't think that it has enough flavor, and I end up using almost the whole um, container or jar just trying to get a chili flavor. So I got this one. This is Albertsons brand, and I think it was $2.99. Um, all of these items would be on sale. And here I have, oh, jumbo sea scallops. They had sea scallops for $9.99, jumbo sea scallops. And Mr. and I love scallops. 
so um, they're the large ones or I'm sure these aren't large compared to someone who is at a seaport like my friend the kitchen witch Lindsay I know these don't look big to you but uh, they're big to us okay I got that that was $9.99 a pound as I said um, oh these are the stone crab claws and we love crab claws I love them more than my husband do but we still like them and these were only $4.99 a pound and I'll put these package these up and put these back in the freezer because these can go on in my uh, gumbo these would be really good in gumbo $4.99 a pound and that's a good price the further away you live from the sea the higher your um, your price is going to be on your seafood and we really can't get a, a good seafood here so that's that Lindsay I know you use a lot of prawns and I either can't afford prawns or um, in this area or can't get good ones but what I did get is this these shrimp at $5.99 a pound and they're puny compared to yours but um, on sale for $5.99 a pound so I got a pound of those and that was uh, like I said $5.99 a pound and I'm trying to see what count it is 26.30 count so it would be 26.30 for yielding a pound so that's my food haul from um, Albertsons as I said when you get your flyers take advantage of going and getting those uh, bargains because we all can save udon noodles I, did, I don't see udon a lot so I got a couple of packs since I was there and I saw Udon um, I see them on the Food Network channel and I see them used in um, Asian cooking so I'm going to try some of those later on during the week thanks so much for joining me please subscribe email me at GrandmaCheapCheap at gmail.com follow me on Twitter, Twitter at GrandmaCheapo and I'll talk to you soon okay thanks so much for joining me Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye now.